Let's use the unit circle to evaluate trig functions for negative angles. So here's the unit circle, which is a circle centered at the origin, meaning the point 0, 0, and the radius of the unit circle is 1. So it passes through the points 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, and 0, negative 1. Let's also add some tick marks that are separated by 0 0.1. To start things off, let's look at four points at different angles on the unit circle. Which of these points represents a 210 degree angle? Remember that angles on the unit circle are measured in the counterclockwise direction from the positive x-axis. If you want to review instead, then click down here. Right, this point over here represents a 210 degree angle on the unit circle. So try using this point's x or y coordinates to approximate the sine of 210 degrees. Remember, these tick marks are each separated by a distance of 0 0.1. And to review how to evaluate trig functions of angles like 210 degrees, click over here instead. Right, the sine of 210 degrees is the y coordinate of this point over here. And it looks like this point has a y coordinate that's 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and it's below the x-axis. So that means the sine of 210 degrees is approximately negative 0 0.5. Now as we said earlier, angles on the unit circle are measured in the counterclockwise direction from the positive x-axis. So what happens if we travel in the clockwise direction? Well, that's how we'll define negative angles. So take a look at these four points on the unit circle. Which of these points represents a negative 45 degree angle? That is, a 45 degree clockwise rotation from the positive x-axis. Exactly right. This point over here represents a negative 45 degree angle on the unit circle because this point is 45 degrees clockwise from the positive x-axis. Next, try using the x and y coordinates of this point on the unit circle to approximate the cosine and sine of negative 45 degrees. Remember, these tick marks are each separated by a distance of 0 0.1. Yeah, those were some good approximations. It turns out that the cosine of negative 45 degrees is approximately 0 0.707 and the sine of negative 45 degrees is approximately negative 0 0.707 because this point is below the x-axis. Try putting these two facts together to evaluate the tangent of negative 45 degrees. If you're not sure how to do this, click up here instead. Now with this interactive graph, you can drag this point around the unit circle to see the sine, cosine, and tangent of all the positive angles between 0 and 360 degrees, as well as all the negative angles between 0 and negative 360 degrees. Try finding a negative angle whose sine is positive and whose cosine and tangent are negative. Once you have one, type it in over here. Nicely done. Yeah, in this quadrant up here, points on the unit circle have positive y coordinates and negative x coordinates. So the sine of any angle over here is positive while the cosine and tangent are negative. Okay, here's your next challenge. Try finding a negative angle where the sine is exactly negative 1. Exactly right. The sine of negative 90 degrees is negative 1. Now here's your final challenge. Try finding the negative angles where the sine and cosine are equal. And here's a hint, there are exactly two such angles. To get started on this lesson, do you know which angle between 0 and 360 degrees is coterminal with 580 degrees? So here's a 580 degree rotation, and it's coterminal with this angle over here. What is this angle? If you're not sure, click down here to review coterminal angles instead. Right, 580 degrees is coterminal with 220 degrees. And you got that by subtracting a full rotation, 360 degrees. Now in this lesson, we'll be looking at how trig functions of coterminal angles are related. And we'll start by looking at 220 degrees. 
Now with this interactive graph, you can see the sine, cosine, and tangent of all angles between 0 and 360 degrees by dragging this point around the circumference of the unit circle. Try using this interactive to find the cosine of 220 degrees to two decimal places. And if you're feeling lost, click over here to review what the unit circle is all about. Right, the cosine of 220 degrees is the x-coordinate over here, which is approximately negative 0.77. As you already know, you can use the x and y coordinates on the unit circle to evaluate the sine, cosine, and tangent of any angle between 0 and 360 degrees, but it also works for angles outside that range. Try using the unit circle to find the cosine of 580 degrees, which you said earlier was coterminal with 220 degrees. Exactly right. The cosine of 580 degrees is exactly the same as the cosine of 220 degrees, about negative 0.77, because they're exactly 360 degrees apart, a full rotation, and they result in the same x and y coordinates on the unit circle. So the sine, cosine, and tangent of 580 degrees all equal the sine, cosine, and tangent of 220 degrees. So using the fact that coterminal angles have the same sine, cosine, and tangent, try using the unit circle to approximate the cosine of 750 degrees to two decimal places. And to make it a little more challenging, you can only move this angle between 0 and 360 degrees. Nicely done. 750 degrees is coterminal with 30 degrees, so the cosine of 750 equals the cosine of 30, or about 0 0.87. Next, let's look at negative angles. To evaluate trig functions for negative angles, we can rotate clockwise along the unit circle. So try using the unit circle to approximate the sine of negative 70 degrees to two decimal places. And if you'd like to review trig for negative angles, click over here instead. Right, the sine of negative 70 degrees is approximately negative 0.94. Now when you had large angles, you subtracted 360 degrees to find coterminal angles between 0 and 360. With negative angles, you can add 360 degrees. So what angle between 0 and 360 has the same sine, cosine, and tangent as negative 70 degrees? Precisely, you added 360 degrees, a complete rotation, and found that negative 70 degrees is coterminal with 290 degrees. As a final challenge, try evaluating the sine of negative 585 degrees to two decimal places. Once again, to make it a little more challenging, you can only move this angle between 0 and 360 degrees, so you'll need to use coterminal angles again.